They got us. Oh, that's so unfortunate though. That was just a bad matchup. Like the worst possible matchup. Ugh. What's going on guys? If you want to support our content and pick up this month's amazing Patreon rewards, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves. If you're interested in custom playmats and sleeves, visit yourplaymat.com and use code ITRESOLVES10YP for 10% off your entire purchase. What is going on everybody and welcome back to another challenge week video. We are kicking things off with a really fun one now. Just as a clarification, Splendid Reclamation is the challenge week build around card for this week. We have already gotten a number of decks submitted and we're starting off strong like I said with Breaded and Fried from our Discord pulling out a really interesting list. Uh, let's let's jump right into this because I think this is one of the most interesting and potentially creative lists that I have seen. Uh, so this is a Merit Lage's Slumber deck, which I've, I've played around this card every once in a while, like just here and there. It doesn't ever seem that great, but in practice, this actually seems to be okay, uh, where you're able to bring back a lot of the, the snow lands from your graveyard with Splendid Reclamation, bring them in all at once, and then on the following turn, you're able to uh, get that big 2020 flying indestructible creature. So I'm really excited to see how this goes. Now to help us get there, help get some things into the graveyard, we do have Treasure Hunt. This is gonna get us hopefully a number of cards, uh, but a lot of things into our hand, of course, which is important. Uh, Druid class is a nice way to gain ourselves a little bit of life, but also play additional lands into uh, each turn. Uh, Winding way is a great way to get a bunch of lands into the hand, or I mean, really, there there's only one creature in the deck, so most often we're probably going to be choosing land here, but we can try and get the Nantuko Cultivator. Now, this is a really key card for the deck because as you play it, you can you can essentially discard as many lands as you want from your hand. Now, when you do that, it gets a 1-1 counter for each of those, but you also draw a card for each of those, uh, which is going to help us again dig further into the deck and hopefully get where we need to be. Uh, now, to really capitalize on the lands and as backup plans to the slumber, we do have Felidar Retreat, fantastic landfall ability, being able to throw out some tokens or some counters depending on our board state. And then we also have Sylvan Awakening here. Now this is just a nice way to hopefully end the game very quickly. Uh, if we've got a lot of lands out, making them all 2-2s with Reach, Indestructible, and Haste seems pretty good. If we can outpower the opponent and outpace them with that, that is fantastic. So. All of this is really, really interesting. I'm very curious to see how this one goes because I do think there is so much creativity here and so much fun to be had. Again, Breaded and Fried, thank you so much for the submission, my friend. Let's go ahead. We're going to send this through three games and we're going to see how it does. All right, guys, here we are for game number one. And truth be told, I mean, yes, this looks like a bit of a slow hand, but I think this is pretty much perfect for what we need. Uh, now, I would love to get something like a treasure hunt or even a slumber out early if we can uh, just to draw ourselves a little bit of extra stuff here but that's okay we'll get that going at some point here uh, the druid class should help us out a good bit and there is the treasure hunt uh, so let's go ahead and drop the uh, the druid class down we can start stacking counters on that and leveling it up a little bit here uh, and then use that treasure hunt as needed uh, very interesting deck this I'm very excited to uh, to play this one I think this is really cool track down uh, not a card I have actually seen very often, so that's kind of interesting. Uh, let's go ahead and play the white source here. That's going to gain us a life. Uh, and I think I am just going to level up that druid class here. Not a super exciting play, I know, but what this allows us to do is hopefully just keep all these lands going onto the battlefield. Now, we do have the cultivator at some point that we're going to want to activate. So let's do this. Let's see what we draw. Uh, three lands. That's quite good actually uh let's do that let's do that uh and let's play that cultivator discarding two lands here or excuse me three lands here we're gonna draw three cards get a couple of those in the graveyard and that fuels that splendid reclamation quite well uh and now we can drop a fell at our retreat and then have a splendid reclamation that can bring back three lands at once and hopefully deal quite a bit of damage uh i assume they just kill the cultivator sure and that's perfectly fine. That's not the end of the world for us. So I completely understand that. Let's go ahead and get this down. And I think we'll just throw this out. Uh, unfortunately, not a t we can't double up on any of our four mana spells because we didn't draw a land there. So it is what it is. 
One thing to note as well, if you don't have lands in hand, these cultivators are kind of bad, um, but they're really good for the deck. They're very, very good for the deck. And so I, I'm actually very happy to have them here. Uh, I think they're quite good. Now, if we draw a land, what we can do is Felidar Retreat and Splendid Reclamation in the same turn, uh, which would be amazing because we'd get double activations off of all these. And look at that, guys, we did it. All right, let's get a 2-2. We'll gain a life. Let's drop another Felidar Retreat. And then let's drop the Splendid Reclamation. That's gonna bring back three lands. Uh, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this. I think I might just spread everything out here. Um, and just go for this the wide play. It looks like they may be... <laughs> uh, they may be trying to do some point and click removal, which is fine by me uh, because we can kind of get around it. Now, if they do have a sweeper, it is what it is. We can rebuild fairly quickly thanks to the Felidar retreats and honestly, just the Druid class. Uh, one thing we can do is just get this out and punch through for a lot of damage. Eerie Ultimatum or Emergent Ultimatum, excuse me, not Eerie Ultimatum. Uh, interesting. All right. I haven't seen this card in a long time, to be honest. Such a good card, though. Uh, shuffle that. So we have to pick one to shuffle in, and then they can cast the other two, uh, which is quite scary. Um, okay. Uh, I mean, I think we just send back the Endraze Forerunners. I mean... The other two double up on the same effects, so I don't particularly care if they have two sweepers. Um, but they needed to do this just to stay in the game, so I totally get it. So they get to do that, that's fine. And then the Shadow's Verdict does basically nothing. Um, so that's fine. Let's do this. Uh, we'll create a 2-2 two -two and a 2-2 two -two and gain a life. And here... We're just gonna do this. Uh, that does have haste, which is quite nice. And I guess I'll just throw this out. I mean, it's not a big reason not to. Uh, let's attack for 12. <laughs> uh, that's pretty good. Um, now again, they could very easily have some, some sweepers here. Obviously they do have a few in the deck, that's fine. Uh, but we're gonna do the best we can to punch through these last few points of damage. And again, any land off the top is rebuilding for us, so not terribly concerned. I would love to get like a Merit Lage's Slumber because we kind of already have the stuff we need. Uh, or, or at least we're very close, which is quite helpful. All right, that does hit uh, everything. So just to clarify, these are all even. So that does hit everything, which is unfortunate, but um, we might be able to do it. Honestly, another Druid class would be really nice too because we could just activate it and win that way. Uh, there's the Cultivate. Sure. Okay. Um, I think what we are going to do is play this and cycle through just a little bit of our deck here. Looks like not that great. That's fine. Uh, and again, we're going to spread things out here as best we can. We're running them through their sweepers. Uh, at least that's the hope. Um, there's another emergence ultimatum. Okay. Sure. Um... Definitely scary because chances are they're just gonna get some more sweepers um, And that sucks, but it's okay. We should be able to make something happen and race forerunners is the scary card because that's how they're gonna win uh, So we need to be very very careful of that um, Now they they could this could very well be like an omniscience deck and they just haven't shown it to us quite yet So a little nervous about what that might uh, produce, but we'll do the best we can all right, uh, there's the Shadows Verdict. Uh, so that's a big 6-6, six, six. that's a 7-7. Seven, seven. And then there's a Shadows Verdict. Um, I think we have to take out the End Race Forerunners. Now they can Shadows Verdict and sweep, but it doesn't actually hit the Cultivator. Um, it only hits the Tutus, so Kind of curious to see how this actually goes. I'm really wishing I had played the uh, counters then, but that's okay. Yep. Uh, 
this represents slightly less damage than the Forerunners, which is why we went with this, by the way. Uh, we don't really have interaction in our deck, so it's not really worth it to worry about um, trying to... Uh, the Hexproof basically isn't that big of a deal. Alright. Um, I mean, we just do this, I think, and just stack up as much as we can um, and hope for the best. I think that's about all we can do. Uh, and really hope they don't have a way to kill the Cultivator, uh, which is highly, uh, it's highly likely they do have a way to kill it, but uh, given that they're Emergent Ultimatum, they're using the Emergent Ultimatum just to pull Sweepers is a bit of a tell. Um, all right, sure. Take six. Uh, yep. Uh, I mean, we'll throw some counters out, but we're fueling their fire, unfortunately, by doing that, so... They're gonna tap this. Sure. What do we need? Uh, if they attack... Oh, man. What powerhouse cards? Truth be told, we are so close. If we get the right card, we could win it? We need, like, a druid class really badly. Uh, they should take out a Felidar Retreat here. Nope. Okay. Uh, I would think they would, well, I guess they can steal a Felidar Retreat with this, but I, I would just finish it the other way, but that's fine. Um, let's do this. Let's do this. Um, and we're basically dead here. They can steal one of these if they would like. Uh, that takes away enough blockers that, um, we can't really win. Yep. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and concede. Unfortunately, they got us here. That was actually pretty close, though. Bread and fried. I really think we can get some wins. Let's jump into game two. All right, guys, here we are for game number two, and this is a very interesting hand. Truth be told, I don't think we can keep this. I'm gonna go ahead and mulligan this one. Um, <laughs> weirdly, I'm gonna keep it. Uh, this is a bad hand as well, um, but why not? Let's go for it. This is way cooler. At least we have something to play. I think, truth be told, the other hand was just an immediate loss. I think this isn't much better, but <laughs> we're gonna try it. Uh, yeah, this is gonna be a very quick game, in my opinion. Um, yep. Very, very scary. This is gonna be difficult because we have no interaction. Um, <laughs> so... Let's see what we can do. Uh, we don't need another forest. We need some something to play here. Uh, so let's let's hope we can do that. Yep. Interesting. Uh, so that negates the cultivator, I believe. Uh, yep. We do get a scry. But ooh, this is bad. We're, this is going to be a very quick loss, I think, Breaded. I'm so sorry. Maybe that was a bad keep, but honestly, against a deck like this, with no interaction, um, there's not much hope for us to do very much anyway, so I wouldn't expect that we would get too many wins uh, against this style deck. Let's throw that on the bottom. We definitely don't need another one. We'll throw out the Cultivator, um, but it doesn't activate thanks to the Hushbringer, and they can just make these unblockable. Uh, and this, of course, does just have flying, so... Uh, yeah, there's, there's not a lot we can do against this. Um, they also just had a very strong opening hand. I mean, looking at all of this power that they've been able to, to throw out early in the game here, if we had had some removal, certainly that would have helped, but, like, honestly, there there's not much we can do event against it, so... I'm not terribly concerned. Unfortunately, it's a loss, but... You know, it is what it is. And we do just keep drawing lands, which is... Good and bad in some ways. Um, all right, that's it. The quickest game in history. Uh, I am gonna just good game them here and go ahead and concede. They got us. Oh, that's so unfortunate though. That was just a bad matchup, like the worst possible matchup. Ugh, feels terrible. All right, game three. Let's see if we can get a win. All right, guys, here we are. This is our third and final game. And weirdly, I'm gonna keep this. The treasure hunt. Hopefully is going to dig us into just anything uh, that we need. And we do have a land full of hands here, or a, a handful of lands here. Uh, I understand that, but we want lands in this deck, so I'm kind of okay with that. Treasure Hunt hopefully just needs to pay off with something good. 
Um, so we'll see what we can get here. Let's go ahead and treasure hunt now. A druid class, that's pretty good. Uh, that's gonna help us get some of these lands out of hand and capitalize on the fact that we have so many lands. Uh, we also do get a creature out of the deal later on, so I'm pretty happy with that, actually. Uh, we do want to play this first, of course, uh, because this gains us a life now. Um, now, trick is, they're a life gain deck. I fully expect they're going to have some very powerful creatures coming down, and that's terrifying to me, uh, because, again, we don't have interaction. We have absolutely none. Uh, and so I'm just hoping that we can pull through something here. Uh, unfortunately, only lands are the draws, uh, but let's go ahead and activate this. We'll play a couple extra lands here. Do this, um, and do this. Now, what this does is set us up quite well. If we do get a Merit Lage's Slumber, we're able to get there pretty quickly because we're doubling up on our lands every turn, and we've got, obviously, quite a number of snow lands. So, you know, there's a there's a hope. I'm surprised they didn't use this to destroy the Druid class, actually. Uh, I thought that was kind of an interesting play. There's the Valkyrie. That's one of the scary cards I was talking about, because now everything is going to be much more powerful, um, and they're just going to be gaining quite a lot of life. So let's do this. Let's treasure hunt. No white source. Hmm. That's certainly a problem. Um... I mean, I suppose we just do this and uh, go ahead and pull this out here. This is, I mean, it's a powerful creature, so they are going to have to consider the, the life loss that this might ensue, but they're gaining so much here, um, it's certainly going to be difficult for us to do very much. And again, no white source. Uh, highly unfortunate. Let's attack in for nine. It gets them down to 24, so at the very least, well, 26, but at the very least they're dealing slightly less damage. <laughs> uh, chances are we're going to die here as well. We, the only, uh, Brad and Fred, I just want to commend you because, again, the creativity of this deck is, in my opinion, very, very good. I like it quite a lot. The downside to the, the, the fact that it is a very linear deck or a very straightforward list is just simply there's not a lot of interaction. Now, you didn't have much of a choice in that, in my opinion. I think there wasn't room for a lot of interaction, but I do think that that certainly is the problem with it. Uh, and, you know, it is what it is. You can't do much about it, but it's one of those very tricky situations where you just kind of have to hope for the best. And unfortunately, against aggro lists that we're going to see a good bit on the best of one ladder, at least, there's not a lot we can do about it. So we do gain a little bit of life, but uh, I think... I think we're definitely done here. Uh, man, I hate that we couldn't get a win, though. I really do, because, again, Bread and Fried, I love the deck. It's very, very fun. Um, and I will say, in practice, uh, I did get it to work at least once or twice. Uh, and I did practice with it just so I could represent the deck as best I could. But um, just couldn't get there on the ladder. That's OK. Uh, very, very fun list. Let's go ahead. Unfortunately, three losses, but let's chat about it. All right, Brandon Fred. So again, I just want to say a huge, huge thank you for uh, submitting to this week's challenge. I really appreciate the deck building that you put into this because I think it is very, very fun. Uh, and I do think that creativity level is there. So again, uh, commending you on that because I thought it was a really nice one. But unfortunately, no wins. Uh, I hate that because again, it could have done so well, I think. It could have been really cool, uh, but that's okay. Uh, again, you will have more chances, as you well know. You're very much an active member on these challenge submissions, so thank you so much for being a part of this. Uh, everybody else, if you would like to submit a deck around uh, Splendid Reclamation, please keep in mind you can submit those all week, uh, and on Wednesday we will uh, announce the next week's challenge uh, card or what the build-around card. Uh, now, keeping in mind, uh, obviously holidays coming up, that kind of thing, We'll probably take some time off at some point, but we'll obviously jump back in at the start of 2022. Uh, but I just during the holidays and that kind of stuff, obviously we're all going to be busy. I don't want to stress you guys out with anything, and I don't want to have to be stressing about it on my end either. So we'll still have some videos going up. We'll still have some fun, but probably won't do the challenge submissions for just a week or two in there during the holiday season. So just keep that in mind. Uh, next week might be the last week for a little bit, but we'll, we'll see. Uh, regardless, guys, thank you so much. Much. I love you all very much. Have a fantastic Monday. Have a great week. I will see you very soon for some more Challenge Week videos.